Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. Normally I start with good morning, but it is actually 1 p.m. <laughs> on Friday. I really let today get away from me quite quickly. I woke up, I made breakfast, I made a smoothie, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna like start to edit and then I'll take a shower and get ready. I really need to start implementing like a more serious morning routine in my life because I don't feel totally out of control, but I do feel a little bit out of control lately. The house is a little bit of a mess. I feel like I need to have a little bit more structure because like this is another danger of working home and making your own hours is like I'm still in my pajamas and it's 1 p.m. but I really just wanted to get this huge I had one big thing to do today and I just needed to get it off my plate um, and that was to do all of the notes for the Disney bound video so I just finished that there's just one more note I need to do which I can't do because I need some pictures that Sierra has that she hasn't sent me yet but I have that marked where it needs to go so it should be really quick once I get them um, I think all the changes are really good it's just taken me a long time but now it is rendering and I'm excited to watch it back then I'm gonna take a shower and today is hair washing Day my hair is it needs to be washed that's all i'll say about that so yeah let's get going get going it's already one o'clock like let's continue life start life oh i'm clean i'm all clean work is done for the day hello tuna tuna's just staring at me i feel like he wants something so i'm gonna come give him some pets i know he's literally been sitting here all day especially on days i don't remember to wake the bed he loves to just sit in mario's spot because i don't know it smells like mario's butt or something he's obsessed with mario he's just a big black blob he's like a big void my void kitty just a blob with eyes so cute you're so cute he's so fluffy i chased him around the house for like two hours the other day just trying to brush him i got so much fur off of him but he's really fluffy and it's summer and so he's like you know he's shedding still and the boy has a hairball like once a week we give him hairball treats we try really hard to brush him he does not like to be brushed we've tied a bunch of different kinds of brushes he just i mean he'll tolerate it but like you got to chase him around you know what i mean he's not just gonna sit there and take it right tuna this has really turned into the tuna hour it's like 100 degrees outside in the, in the valley right now that's why he's not outside, which is where he normally is during the day. Although now I've agitated him, he's up. So who knows where he'll go next. I don't know where Beethoven is. Weirdly, I haven't seen him in a while. He's outside, or not anymore. Now he's inside, because I was calling his name. Anyway, I have to switch out the laundry. Speaking of fur balls, Tuna had one on our sheets the other day. So I had to wash those out of cycle. Super fun. Cats are the best. Cats are the best. Cats are absolutely the best. Okay, I have two more loads of laundry to do, but I'm probably gonna do those tomorrow. It's just how it is. The girl's hair is wavy today. I'm so tired. I'm about to fall asleep on this couch. In my last vlog, I mentioned that I was going to give a little ladle by ladle follow up, which is basically just like my sort of updated take on body positivity, and I did. <laughs> I did in fact write, oh Jesus Christ, I did in fact write that. I actually wrote this whole thing, it's way too long. I was reading it back and I just feel like, God, I just kind of feel like it's not necessary the more I think about it. It's kind of the reason I haven't really talked about it because my channel started as a safe space for people who are in eating disorder recovery and I want it to stay that way. And now that I'm eight years recovered, I have a little bit more of a nuanced take on body positivity but that take is not relevant to people who need my original message and people who may find me through my original message and so for me i just feel like it's hard to talk about my more nuanced take because i don't want to harm the people that i initially set out to help if that makes sense even though my take isn't like negative or anything i mean like i think i'm just gonna read some quotes in here that i wrote that i still really like i wrote that body positivity is a healing beautiful movement for women's liberation from a society that shamed us into hurting ourselves for thinness for so long women should never be shamed for decisions they make about their own bodies the gist of it was kind of what i wrote here which is that i'm of the opinion that body positivity has taken messaging that is largely meant for people who are trying to recover from serious eating disorders and blanketing it over the entire community which leads to people feeling shame around wanting to get healthier or lose weight that is kind of the crux of everything that i go on to say this like huge long thing and i i do believe that however because i want this to remain a safe space for those who are still suffering from real life-threatening eating disorders the way that i was i don't want to get too too farther deep into it i'll just end with my last paragraph which is i'm now at this place where i meet my body where it's at I'm healthy in my own way and careful when I need to be. I don't ever go too far into thoughts of getting smaller, but I also don't stop myself from engaging in activities that I want just to prevent that the way that I needed to when I was recovering. I'm blessed to have a body that allows me to do what I want physically, and that's a privilege I try not to take for granted. <sighs> this is so jumbled and so confused, mostly because I really 
just don't want to get too deep into it because I want this to remain a safe space for people who are still recovering from eating disorders. But I do think that a lot of the rhetoric around generic and general body positivity has been co-opted from the eating disorder recovery community. And so it can sometimes go too far for the average person. And I do have this whole take about that. But I also have to keep in mind now that um, not necessarily the average person is always watching my channel just because of the way it started. So God, that was really like a whole lot of non-information. Instead, I think I'm going to give you all a tour of my Animal Crossing Island. I don't have a stream box, which is like the thing that people use to record their Nintendo Switches. So I'm just gonna try and record my TV and see how that works. Like, um, the majority of people that I know. I got super into Animal Crossing at the beginning of the pandemic, like super, super, super into Animal Crossing. Addicted, I think would be honestly an uh, appropriate word. Now I don't play as often because um, I don't know, I just, I don't have as much time as I did during the pandemic. I still check on my island, I would say like once a quarter, once every six months, just to see that everybody's alive and happy. And I am really proud. I mean, I cannot overstate how much effort I put into my island. So I want to show it off to you guys. And I'm going to give you guys the dream code too. I'll put my dream code in my description so you guys can go look at it whenever you want. If you guys also play, I think I'm going to go close those blinds because they're really getting in the way. Okay, there's me. I'm purple and pink and I have a little purple and pink house. Okay, welcome to my house. I designed this main room, the living room, after what I imagined the Slytherin common room would look like. You guys may or may not know I am a hardcore Slytherin. Then we go back here. Back here is the kitchen. Um, I believe that this is just a very basic kitchen. You know, I am a basic bitch at my core and I needed one room that demonstrated that. So this is just like a basic kitchen, white, a lot of plants going on, you know. This is my bedroom. Look at her, she's beautiful. It's a mermaid bedroom. My bathroom's over here. I built the whole thing around this gold toilet because it's just fucking hilarious to me. And then we go up the stairs. This is my library, uh, you know, because we I kind of was keeping with the Harry Potter rise, but it's a little bit more modern. It's my office. It's where I get my shit done. I have many leather bound books and my uh, upstairs smells of rich mahogany. That's kind of the vibes. That was kind of what I was thinking. I got a little music over here. Like, come on now. But the best part of this house, you guys. The absolute piece de resistance is my sex dungeon basement, my 50 shades of gray, my red room. <laughs> Mario gave me this idea, like I've had this room forever, back in 2020, but he gave me the idea, but I really feel like I, I brought it to light, right? With the red bedroom, the red bed with the fucking production lights and the video, like the camcorder all around it is so funny. Like the knives and the leather shorts, like are you fucking, like the random ass candle, cause you know it gets stinky down here. Like this red leather couch, like the cherry lamp. There's a fucking, you can't see it, but in the top left, there's like a security camera. And then there's of course this jail. There's no way to get in the jail, but just the fact that it exists is so funny to me. And that's my house. Those are all the rooms. I am pretty damn proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not made for kids, YouTube. Not fucking made for kids. No one ever said it was. Okay, that's my house. I think it's important if we're gonna go run around my island that we first get a solid look at the map. So we're here where it says Ass Turd. That's my, that's my name. <laughs> So yeah, so my house has a grand entrance, which will go down and then um, we're gonna probably just go to the front and then work our way back. But you see like there's a neighborhood in the back. That's where all the villagers live. The museum is back there. There's a bunch of stuff back there. Mario's house is back there. Mario's here. He's in my snip snap. That's his name. These are office references. If you're a big fan of the office, my island's name is Scranton. Okay, so here she is. Here's my house. You walk down, down the stairs. That's her. She's got this like beautiful grand entrance with the stars and the moon and the waterfalls and shit. Let's go to the front and then we'll just run around. You just walk into this little entryway with the waterfalls. You got some, some benches or whatever if you're waiting for your airplane. And you've got nooks. You know, that's the store that everyone has on their island. My nooks is right here. And then I have up here on the second level, I have my Able Sisters, that's the clothing store. I'm an ally, so I gotta get my ally shit out there, obviously. And then, oh, so these Lily of the Valley flowers are what you get if you have a five star island. It takes a really long time to do, and so I'm very proud of mine. But of course, we have to come down here, pay our respects. We have to pay our respects. You do that by going like that. Pay the respects to Dobby. Anyway. <laughs> Then next to the stores, I have a little ice cream shop. Um, it's like a real functioning shop, you guys. You can eat the ice cream. If you go back here, it's hard to see, but there's like a kitchen 
kitchenette to make the ice cream. There's like a little freezer back there. It's a whole thing. It's a whole vibe. If you were to go straight back this way, this is town hall. Uh, that's where Isabel and uh, Tom Nook fucking work, you know? Okay, so we'll just go this way. So we have a Starbucks, which, you know, it's like our version of a Starbucks. So it's like a baby Yoda Starbucks, but we got a little menu, we got a little, you know, that's a whole vibe. And then this is, if you were to come to my island, this is where I dump DIYs that I don't need, uh, that I already know. So people who need DIYs or whatever can come pick them up. Okay, then we're coming back down this way and we've got a little board game area by the river. Like, are you kidding me? My Islanders have absolutely everything they need. Okay, now we're back at my house. Let's just cover this whole side of the island. This is like the pink flamingo beach. And then if you work your way up here, you can grab some fishing supplies and then head out on the dock to fish. I don't have anything on the dock. Then we have our boardwalk. Our boardwalk is right next to my house. I did not think about the noise level when I decided that. No, I'm just kidding. But you know, it's just like a beach boardwalk. You got games, you got rides, you got a fucking fortune teller. You know, you can spin these things. This guy, I don't know, boardwalky things. And uh, then the actual beach itself, this is like the public beach right here. So, you know, we've got public beach things to do. You can do a surfboard rental if you want. You know, very beach boardwalky. I don't know why I just felt like this hot tub went here for some reason. Okay, and then going up all the way up to the beach, you have the camping area. The camping area, of course, is on everybody's island, but I made this little fire pit and I put some decorations around to make, you know, the campers who show up here every once in a while feel very welcome. So then we've got the art exhibit, okay? If you guys are familiar with the LACMA, <laughs> there's a exhibit in Los Angeles where it looks just like this. And I just thought it was hilarious. So, you know, if you wanna get your Instagram game on, on my island, a lot of people like to go here. Up here is Mario's house. I built him a house because, you know, he's my husband, he needs a house. I made it very much to his liking. Know all the Italian statues, the money trees. We've got, you know, a putting green because Mario is a golfer. We've got some sports shit because he's like, you know, that kind of dude. He's, <laughs> this is Mario. The Italian statues and the golf is like everything you need to know. There's a grill. His house is pretty sick. This is the museum. We're not gonna go in the museum, but you know, I really set this shit up nice. We've got the dinosaur heads. We've got the waterfalls. You guys, you know, I, I don't know if you know a lot about Animal Crossing, but I fucking built this island. Like where you see waterfalls, like that, I put that shit there. You know what I mean? I fucking, <laughs> worked hard for this shit. These are my little gyroid collections. I forget when that started happening, but gyroids were like a really big thing. And then this is my duck pond. I have a double-sided duck pond. So we'll just go run this way. Duck pond with a little, like, this is sort of like, it's like a pocket park for my residents. You'll see we're kind of in the neighborhood area now. Duck pond. Oh, I don't want to give away too much, but you guys can see what's coming up. So yeah, so that kind of starts this neighborhood. So you can see, I know you guys saw on the map, but I'll just show you again. All of my residents live in one neighborhood and and that's up here. Oh, and then I, this took me forever. I got all of my rocks into one fucking area. So up here, we've got everybody's houses, but look, I built them a nice little a fire pit. All of the flowers that are outside their houses correspond with their colors because I'm cute and quick like that. And also that's how I know whose house is who. I also made them a little public pool area with a little shower. You guys, I am literally the best fucking island designer. You cannot tell me otherwise. Oh, and then everyone knows, sorry, I should stop saying everyone knows. I guess there's a world where someone's still watching this who's never played Animal Crossing. There's a ship that shows up every once in a while uh, with a guy who sells art for your museum. I have a little, it's like not easy to get to where the pirate ship I don't know why I call it a pirate ship. It's not a pirate ship, but I don't, it's not easy to get to where that shows up. But I put a little palm tree back here. A little, I made a little pirate area. Cute, you know, it's all about the little touches. <laughs> I love this. I love the little like hopscotch that it forces you to do. Let's go back down this way. Let's go back to the front. So if you were to go this way off the island, you see I have every type of fruit tree. I have an orchard, well labeled OCD fucking orchard. Um, And then if you come down here, this this is more like the beach club area. Like the other side of the island had the public beach. This is like a nice little beach club with a tiki bar. And then if you come over here on this rock, we have, um, this is just the Scranton Cafe. You can see we've got over here the uh, stapler and jello, but it's just like, you know, it's just a little cafe and get breakfast and get lunch by the ocean, you know, vibes. Then we've got, now this is sort of along the same, this area this is my orchard. 
we've got my farm where I've got all the different crops growing so that if I ever need to make some shit, I got that going, whatever the hell that is. I don't know, I'm not a real farmer. Um, this I built in the fall once, but I don't really know what else to put here. So I'm just, I just keep it even though it's not really seasonally appropriate. This is my cute little apple cider farm. And I just love it. I just love the whole vibe. And then here of course is something that any Animal Crossing person will know took me a long ass time. And that is every single flower that exists in the Animal Crossing universe, at least at the time that I made this, is here in rainbow order. You know, sometimes these plants, they pop up and I don't want them there. One last thing, and of course it's my favorite thing, so I saved the best for last. You guys know me and you guys should not at all be surprised, excuse me Coco, that I built a Disneyland for my villagers. And look at that, they love it. We've got rides, we've got snacks, got little games like they do on Parada and uh, what's it called? Pixar Pier. We've got cotton candy. We've got the teacups. We've got the carousel. We sell balloons. We've got the fucking swinging uh, Ferris wheel. This is my favorite, of course. And if you look at the ground, there's hidden Mickeys everywhere. Hidden Mickeys everywhere, you guys. And that's my island. I'm really proud of it. Like really, really, really proud of it. it took me so, so long. I guess the last thing is I got this little Zen garden over here. This is where I keep all my bamboo. But oh yeah, what's over here? I haven't really done anything with this section. So I got a little wind wind farm and a little solar farm. I guess I did a little something over. That's my clean energy station. All the whole path, the whole island powered by wind power. And that's my Animal Crossing island. I really wanted to show you guys that. I'm really proud of it. And I feel like that was such a better use of this vlog, if I'm being honest, because ugh, it's something I'm just so unbelievably proud of. It's such a stupid thing, but it's anyway. Um, I'm going to order a McFlurry and fall asleep at approximately seven o'clock tonight. That seems to be exactly how I'm feeling. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.